Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Persian and Alolan Persian as well. Um, yeah, I've got two generic sets for you for Cantonian Persian, two for Alolan Persian, and then a Dynamax set for Cantonian Persian. Um, I didn't really think of a Alolan Persian Dynamax set um, because it didn't seem to lend itself very well to being Dynamax. If you have got a Dynamax set, uh, for a little version, then please do put it down in the comment section below. But I've come up with a few sets here for you. So, the very first set that we have today is taking advantage of Persian's ability to have Nasty Plot as a move. So, we um, have Life Orb and Technician here. Technician is allowing the Water Pulse to be boosted a little bit more um, than it originally would be because it is base 60 power. We have Life Orb, which is even further boosting our attacks by 1.3 times, but you are going to lose 10% of your health each time you do that, so do be cautious and possibly have a Pokemon that is allowing you to recover in the back. Nasty Plot essentially doubles your special attack, which in this case would take it from 229 to about um, 450. If you were to put that on a Modest Nature instead, that would be even higher. But I'll explain the EVs in just a second. Water Pulse is obviously a water type attack and can hit a variety of different Pokemon. Same with Dark Pulse. And then Hyper Voice is your stab normal type move. Um, obviously boosted 1.5 times with stab and can do a little bit more damage to different Pokemon. EVs, I've gone for Max Special Attack and Max Speed. Obviously those are the two you want to look at for this one. I've put a Timid Nature, so more speed, less attack. This allows it to outspeed a few more Pokemon. Uh, than it may have been able to before, but there is always the option of uh, going for modest, so more special attack if you want to have just that little bit more power initially. Um, it is completely up to you how you run that and how your speed tiers are looking um, is your option entirely. The second set we have for Persian is a um, Home Clause set. So Home Clause raises up the attack and the accuracy of the user by one stage which can benefit you by making that attack stat that's a little bit lackluster just a little bit better. And if you can get maybe one or even two of those off, um, you're going to have a much larger attack stat and going to be able to do a lot more damage to a lot of different Pokemon. Leftovers I've put on here as the item had Limber as the ability just because um, Body Slam is quite a common move now um, that a lot of Pokemon do have access to. So something that you probably want to pay attention to, um, potentially getting paralyzed. And Leftovers is healing you up because you do have to set up the Home Claws initially. We've got Knock Off to get rid of any items and also to be super effective against Ghost types, which you couldn't have hit um, with normal type attacks. You've got Play Rough, uh, which is a powerful Fairy type attack. You can always run uh, Body Slam on here if you want, which again can paralyze the other Pokemon. And then I put Switcheroo on here as well. So if you could potentially set up a couple of Home Claws and then Switcheroo your Leftovers onto... Um, a Pokemon and possibly even get a choice band or a choice scarf, Persian is going to look a lot better. It's going to be doing a lot of damage and um, if you're smart about it, could end up doing a sweep. Um, but that is a very situational scenario. So if you didn't want to run, run Switcheroo, um, again, I would recommend having Body Slam and then possibly even U-Turn somewhere um, just in case. But that's a lot of potentials with this set. EVs going for max attack and max speed with an adamant nature, some more attack, less special attack, and four EVs in special defense. You can go for Jolly if you want to outspeed um, the Pokemon, those other Pokemon. Uh, that is entirely up to you, depending on what you're looking at. We've now got uh, Alolan Persian for the first set, and it's got Fur Coat as its ability, basically doubling its defense stat, uh, allowing it to have quite a high defense stat, going from 156 to 312, which um, will block off a few Pokemon from taking out in one hit. We have Leftovers, which allows you to make sure you're healing um, effectively through many turns. We've got Move-wise, Parting Shot. Now, Parting Shot lowers the attack and special attack, I believe. Yet, the attack and special attack by one stage um, and allows you to switch out. So, essentially, it's a U-turn, but it works on the stats. And that can then force the opposing Pokemon to need to switch, or it can allow you to get a different Pokemon in um, that is much less of a concern. I'm oh, sorry, much less of a concern um, over it being hit for high damage. You've then got Toxic, which is a transfer move, so you would have to transfer this from a previous generation. Um, but Toxic to start racking up damage on different Pokemon, uh, forcing switches, and not uh, 
not allowing things to set up on you as well. That's how toxic can really help you. Uh, you've got taunt, again, to stop things from setting up. Uh, because they can definitely try and use a lone Persian to do that, and also to stop things like Recover, which can be quite a pain. And then we've got Dark Pulse as a Dark type attack, which hopefully you can do a little bit of damage with. EVs, we've got max HP and max speed with a timid nature, so more speed and less attack, and four EVs and special attacks. So this is designed to be really fast, to have that ability for that parting shot or that taunt, um, especially if it's a Pokemon that you send out first, you can taunt, and you can stop Pokemon from setting up hazards, for example. So it is a move that you can use. And then we have a Nasty Plot Life Orb set. So we have Rattled as our ability also, um, and that basically the speed is increased by one stage if hit by a bug, dart, or ghost type attack, or even if it's intimidated. Now, because we're not using our attack stat, if you're intimidated, it doesn't even matter. So lots of scenarios where you can actually raise your speed in this situation. And then we've got our Nasty Plot raising up our special attack from 273 um, to 550 something, or 540 something, which is very, very high. Um, we've got Dark Pulse, the stab attack, you've got Power Gem to hit a variety of other things. Again, I've put Toxic on here. I know it is a transfer move, but it is such a good uh, versatile move for a Lone Persian to use. If you're concerned, you could always use things like Parting Shot if you need to. Um, and then we've got Life Orb, obviously on here, it does take 10% of our health every time that we use a physical attack, but it does boost our power 1.3 times, so it can be really effective there. Um, yeah, so ideally set up your Nasty Plot and then use your different moves to try and um, break down the opposing Pokemon. Finally, we have the Dynamax set for Persian. Now, this is a little bit of an odd Dynamax set because it is kind of a mixed sweeper design. Alolan Persian, not like Alolan Persian, Cantonian Persian has relatively okay attack. Now, if you can Dynamax um, Alolan Persian, not Alolan Persian, if you Dynamax Persian on the first go um, and use Dunk Shot, that will turn into Max Ooze. If you use that three times, it will raise up the special attack stat by three stages, going from 229 um, to almost 600, which is a very, very, very high attack stat there. You've got Hyper Voice, which is a powerful normal type move, Dark Pulse against hit ghost types, and then Thunderbolt for a bit of variety. The idea here is set up your special attack stat using a physical move. It's a very interesting choice, but if you can start raising up your special attack stat when you're using the, gun, the Max Ooze, they might be unsure on what you're actually going for. Um, once you're back to normal, your choice specs will activate because they don't activate whilst you're Dynamaxed um, and you will be locked into a move. So do be cautious on what you choose next. So if you've got a Pokemon with Lightning Rod or a Ghost type Pokemon, make sure you're not clicking Thunderbolt or Hyper Voice, for example. Eevee's gone for max uh, special attack and max speed with a hasty nature, so more speed, less defense, and four Eevee's in attack. So. Very interesting choice for a Dynamax Mon, I know, but I think it definitely could work out in Persian's favour. That is all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon.